25 most memorable birthday scenes in movies. And I know mm. in chat you've been talking about it as well, Mike. So we're going to match up if you guys were right. So number one, we talked about it. 16 candles. Mm -hmm. That's right. That is number one. So number two, you called it. The game, 1997. Okay. Yep. The unusual birthday present. Uh, then we have number three, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. That's Bilbo Baggins' 111th mm, birthday. Right, yeah. Uh, next up, we got Harry Potter. Harry was taken to Hogwarts on his 11th birthday. So, I mean, that's not really about his birthday, but that's, I guess that's when he got discovered. I'm not seeing it. Am I going in the wrong order here? I'm no, you're right. No, you got it. Yep. That's three. I'm yeah. up to the birds. Uh, birds attack on Kathy's birthday. That's what oh, you get, that's Kathy. Right. <laughs> that's, just, that's an awesome <laughs> plot description. <laughs> Uh, then you have What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Look at this. This is all movies we called out. Mm -hmm. Brothers Reunion on Arnie Annie's our 18th birthday. Here's a classic. Another Michael Douglas classic. Michael Douglas. Falling Down. He just wanted to attend his daughter's birthday party. Man, when this movie came out, it, I just I was all about this. That whole, like, where are you going? I'm going home. And they didn't want to serve him breakfast. And it was like it was that McDonald's later. scene that got yeah. it over, right? It was like that was the one in the trailer where it's just like it's ten thirty one and I can't get a sausage biscuit. Yeah, oh, and he just lost it because so many people can identify with that. Yeah, so I good choice on that one. That was really great. Adam Sandler stole that one back in uh, Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He stole he that did. one. Yeah, that's a callback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we have thirteen going on thirty. There you go. Which is basically the Freaky Friday horror movie, The Descent. The hallucinating birthday moment. You remember Ooh, that, Mark? Oh, okay. Pink elephants on parade? Is that what the... On Dumbo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did they get these mixed up? So The Descent and Dumbo both had hallucination moments? <laughs> no. The, I don't remember in Descent. Did they have Descent, like a, as ayahuasca? As, isn't it as she's she's making it out that she makes it out? And she, you know, and she like lives her life or whatever, or is living her life. Or am I, oh, am I yeah. crazy? Uh, like, I no, no, they, you're right, you're right. There's like a there's like a thing where she there's a fake out at the end. She makes it out of the cave, and yeah. it's just like I survived the cave, mm -hmm. and she goes on with her life. But then it's like cut to no, that was all a fantasy. You're yeah. still being eaten by oh, vampires man, in the cave. I didn't know. Yeah, that's a different kind of a hallucination from Dumbo. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dumbo would totally get canceled because every the, there's just so much stuff that was 1940 like but anything um, disney pre-60s or uh, pre-70s yeah. <laughs> crap <laughs> maybe pre-80s i don't know a lot mm -hmm. of stuff get get canceled today dumbo man i just think i'd seen a peanut stand i've seen a rubber band i even seen a diamond ring I be done seen about everything <laughs> but i never seen an elephant fly I mean, yeah, that was mm -hmm. classic. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't know Sleeping Bur uh, Beauty was cursed on her first birthday. Uh, oh, okay. Here's sure. another one I did not know, The Jerk, but I do remember that scene. <laughs> Tuna fish <laughs> on white bread with mayonnaise, a tab, and a couple of Twinkies on my birthday. <laughs> All right. If you had just sent me this before, that's what we would be having at <laughs> Man, talk about, like, essential... 70s viewing just the jerk oh, the was jerk. another yeah uh -huh. when you were lucky enough to see a movie called the jerk you knew you were in business <laughs> the early steve martin stuff yeah yeah he mm -hmm. was man with two brains oh yeah, that was another time, one yeah. too yeah you do a new spot on that you were you know oh like, yeah we should do a review of man with two brains because that's one of the best funniest movies of all time yeah toy story yeah mike you called this earlier right mm -hmm. um toy story that's andy's birthday present Old school, <laughs> I'll tell you, you gotta love that. <laughs> Clucky, if you're still there, you shout gotta out to the IMDb copywriters because they're really putting in max effort here, writing these out. <laughs> the birthday tranquilizer Andy, gun, Andy's birthday present, the birthday <laughs> tranquilizer gun. But man, that's a, such a famous gift, right? <laughs> Got a freaking dart in your neck. What? What? You crazy? You crazy? Man. Man. You crazy? Man. <laughs> Like, but you're crazy. <laughs> Uncle Buck, of course, the giant pancakes. Yeah, we talked yes. about that. Oh, Satan's birthday? I didn't know the omen. That was his first birthday. <laughs> awesome. The omen. That was good. Harold and Maude. Yeah, mm. there you go. That was her 80th birthday. When I am a mark for Harold and Maude. I don't remember the birthday, but that's great. Because she, she was a gilf, right? That's the movie where she's a gilf? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's... 
Uh, Logan's run I have not seen in a long time, so I don't remember this part about the Carol, uh, Carousel birthday party. Mm -mm. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show? Rocky's brief birthday party? Oh, is that because that was the day he was created? By Frankenfurter? I don't remember Rocky Horror Picture Show that well other than the music, so I don't remember the birthday party either. Can I, can I drop a hot take? Yeah, top it. Drop it. Drop it like can it's drop hot. drop a hot take about the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Yeah, do it. Yeah. It is overrated. Mm. I love. Do tell. Keep there, going. There are fantastic people in that in that movie doing fantastic things. I'm sure, but there is nothing about the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like it should be right up my alley, and it's not. Really? And I think I think it's incredibly overrated. Um, I I you know I understand people go through and they do the whole performance. They do the midnight. Yeah. You know showings. Have, and I've the, never been to one. It's this huge cult thing, and and. I just, for me personally, um, and my my opinion should carry all the weight. Overrated, <laughs> overrated. Like that's it. that's my hot take. Go for it, man. I, not everything's gonna work. I could see that. I feel like if you watching it uh, older, uh, way uh, separated from time, mm -hmm. I could see that. Definitely feels like that. I think with me, Rocky Horror Picture Show was the thing where. I don't know why this. I don't know if this was just San Antonio where I grew up, but it was like a big punk thing. Mm, okay, yeah, like right. in the eighties, okay. all the early punks were going to that. Yeah, you know, dudes, you know, kids of Mohawks and stuff were going to see Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I always equated it with like punk music. You watch it now, it doesn't sound like punk music. No, <laughs> not, at all, not at all. But I don't yeah. know why it got pulled into that whole scene, and I always it gets wrapped up in that. You're Rocky right. Horror, I, I can definitely yeah. see because it's very counterculture. So it's very punk in itself. Yeah. Um, but just, and it, like I said, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate, you know, just, but for me, I'm just like, nothing. Got nothing. Interesting. Yeah. I, uh, I try just... doing science fiction double feature at karaoke. It kills. Really? Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it can, yeah, people, because a lot of people may know the words. That song kind of makes me cry a little bit. All right. It's pretty awesome. I just was a huge mark for Susan Sarandon's bra. That was the first time you actually seen as close as you can to like a woman naked when you're a little kid. I was like <laughs> little Quentin Tarantino. You're like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm allowed to see this because it's a musical, right? Right. See, it works. <laughs> Wait, what are they singing yeah. about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just yeah. enjoy the movie. So... Uh, next one, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I just remember the title, but I don't think I ever watched that's it. Like, that's, a, that's a kid's book series, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Like that? Yeah. It is interesting to je put Jennifer Garner on the list twice. So if we had to run through this, she's mm. tied with Michael Douglas right now for, oh, birthday, yeah. for birthday movies. Here's one that's great to watch on your birthday, Schindler's <laughs> List. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Nothing better than on your birthday, get a bunch of your friends over and have a cake and watch Schindler's List. You are making out during Schindler's List? <laughs> oh, man. that's I didn't know. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, The Godfather, of course, the Don Corleone. There you scene. go. Full Metal Jacket. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy Jesus. birthday Jesus. There, there it is. Go. All you right. It. <laughs> uh, oh, one. Finally, we got to one I did not see. Secrets and Lies. Did not see this. Did you guys see this? No, I'm not sure. I remember when it was out. I never saw it. All right. And finally, on Golden Pond. I do remember. Uh, I don't remember ever. I don't know if I watched it, but I remember how, like, this was the movie when you're a little kid and adult. Oh, that's an adult movie. And it was Jane Fonda acting with her her dad, right? That was the mm. one time that you had the father-daughter on there. Yeah. So I don't know if the, and that might have been Oscar. So, yeah, that is our top 25 Birthday movie moments, as told by IMDb and the <laughs> shortest copywriters they are. Right? Are you trying to save font? You know that's free, right? 